Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. And other viewer in which, uh, where are you, where do you stay? Uh, I stay in home, I think. No, I, where do you live? Which country? Uh, uh, US. Okay. And uh, no, which time zone? What? Which part of USA? Uh, Washington. Okay. Okay. And by the way, my name is Atarvan. What's your name? My name is Rupanjana. Oh. Okay. So, Atarv, uh, I'll give you some words first, okay? Ready? Yeah. Uh, maybe like uh, some uh, new words. Just let me know if you know the meaning of these words. If you want, you can look up a dictionary. I don't have any problem. Do you have a dictionary nearby? No. no, nothing. Google it. Google it. You can Google it also. Not a problem for me. All right, fine. If I want to. Hmm. Uh, what do you do? I'll share these words in the chat box. You just need to tell me the meaning of these words or you can find out in the Google and then write one sentence. I'll help you even if it is a wrong oh, like, are you gonna tell the word in the chat yeah yeah in the chat okay. so the first word is a uh, arrange arrange uh tell me sentence one ever uh, about one arrange arrange So what do you mean by arrange? And you can just frame a sentence with your word. If you want, I can help you with the meaning as well. Arrange uh, means just put things in a neat, attractive or required order. There's a right. sentence of an arrange. She had just fi finished no, arranging. I uh, I want you to frame your own sentence. So that is a point of me giving you this word. I want you to frame your own sentence. Think about it. Even if it is a uh, like uh, not a very good sentence, it's okay. We can definitely make it better. But let's try doing it on our own. Arrange. Have any difficulty? No, I couldn't find. I couldn't. I can't think of anything that. You can say like, I arrange my books neatly every day, or you can oh. say, isn't it? I arrange my books neatly every day. All right, now I know. My mom arranged the food neatly on the table. So it can be in the past tense as well. So arrange, you can also form, write it arranged. Oh. Okay, now you write. Now you can write something like that. I arrange all my drawings on the wall. Yeah, write it down. Very good.
Excuse me. Oh, um, I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Okay. Can you read out the sentence that you wrote? I arrange all my drawings on the wall. Very good. I'll give you the next word. Careless. Careless is just the opposite of careful. So careless means not being careful. Careless. Careless. So just find out the meaning of this word and then write a sentence. Careless. Careless. You writing the sentence? The, girl, the boy was careless in closing the door. Yeah, very good. The boy was careless in closing the door. Very good. Um, I'm done. You're done? Okay. And the next word is... Um, experience. Experience is the next word. Experience. Experience. Experience, you know the meaning? So when you go through certain events or an event, okay? It's something which happens to you in personally. Experience. An experience is kind of a craft or a subject. Okay, experience, that is experiment. That is experiment. This is experience. Experience is something that has happened to you. Some event that has happened to you. Experience.
Dawn. Okay, can you read out the sentence? The girl learned an experience at school. The girl learned an experience at school. Okay, experience here, what you've written is actually experiment. Experience is something that you go through. You can say that I uh, experienced great joy yesterday during the party. I experienced. So when you go through something, you feel something. That is called experience. I experienced great joy in the party yesterday. You write down, I experienced great joy or at the party yesterday right down so when you feel something when you were a certain event in your life that is called experience i experienced great joy at the party yesterday you're writing out of Um, this is Rupan Jenna. Can you tell one more? Yeah, I will. Uh, you want another sentence with uh, experience? Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, we can say going to the carnival was a good experience. Meeting my best friend was a good experience. Watching that movie was a good experience. So these are all examples of experience. So it was something you that gave you a good feeling. An event that gave you a good feeling. Done. Done. Okay. And your last word for the day, after which we'll shift to a short, short story, very short story. Uh, the last word is furious. Furious is someone who is very angry, very uh, uh, like ferocious, furious, very angry. Done. Okay, can you read out the sentence? I'm very angry at my brother. You're very angry at... I'm very angry at my brother. Okay. Okay. That is, you have not used the word uh, furious, but... I forgot to write furious. Right on. I am furious at my brother. Okay, so we learned one, two, three, four new words today. Four new words we have learned today. Atharv, can you tell me what are the words that you learned? Okay, first finish writing. Arrange, careless, experience, experience, and fearless. Just to repeat again, can you tell me the meaning of each word? Arrange means to put something in a good order. Arrange. Hmm. What does it mean to you? 
what does it mean to you arrange order all the things yeah. on my shelf yes to put something in the right order is called arrange what is careless um careless is Careless is not being careful. Write down be, beside careless is not being careful. Write down not being careful. Done. Okay, experience. Experiences. something that is painful not only painful and even that has happened in your life okay and what is furious furious is angry furious is kind of angry yeah right down very angry furious is very angry Oh, can you see my screen? Your voice is on mute. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So today we are going to read something about Thanksgiving. Before reading about Thanksgiving, I want you to tell me something. What you know? How do you celebrate? What is the idea of Thanksgiving according to you? Can you tell me something about Thanksgiving? You stay in USA, so you must be. celebrating thanks we giving since quite a few years you must be knowing something about thanksgiving what do you do on that what is the history of thanksgiving what kind of food you eat who do you meet what do you do thanksgiving is on the is on thursday 4th of november and it's a celebration mhm mm what do you do on that everybody likes thanksgiving like thanksgiving okay why do you like thanksgiving because there's food and toys <laughs> food and toys very good and what else like what happens during why do we call it thanksgiving why not anything else why do we not call this and we can eat like, chicken huh and we can eat chicken for thanksgiving you can eat chicken you can eat turkey you can eat uh and uh, uh, like any other sweet desserts of your choice and why do you call thanksgiving why do you do not why don't you call it welcome giving why do you just call it thanksgiving thanks why the word thanks over there any idea just think about it have you read that word in your school any time have you heard of, hmm They, um, I, I think I heard it. I just heard it in home, not school. Maybe. Okay, no problem. So today we will just gear up to learn something about Thanksgiving, shall we? Okay. Something yeah, new about Thanksgiving. Thanks and giving. Yes. Okay. Let's just start reading about Thanksgiving. and you i want you to pay attention you can read it i'll explain you just read one two sentences for like that i'll just explain you you read it thanksgiving is a celebration in america on the fourth thursday of november and in canada on the second monday of october every year this is very uh, clear it is on the fourth of thursday fourth thursday of the november and in canada it is on the second monday of october every year so this is when thanksgiving is celebrated every year okay now continue the, the first thing started as harvest festival giving thanks for all the food we have this was the reason for first for the first thanksgiving meal in 1621 okay pause So this is the reason why we celebrate Thanksgiving in the history of America. Okay, we are giving thanks. We are having gratitude. Okay, for all the food we have. 
so it is a harvest festival do you know what is harvesting and farming who harvest the who do harvest the crops who sow the seeds in the uh, in the field what are the what is a person called who ha do harvesting in the field you know have you have you heard about them farmers have you heard about the term farmers yeah i heard about farmers so harvesting is when the crops start growing okay there is a time they sow the crops okay they just put the seeds in the field and then the start it starts growing okay so that is called the harvest festival when the crop starts growing and we all start accumulating lot of food we need to have we need to have gratitude for the food we need to be grateful for, for the food do you are you do you feel grateful for the food you eat every day because there are many people who can't eat food do you feel grateful for the food you eat every day are you thankful to your mom she cooks meals for you every day do you say thank you to your mom mm. you can look at me uh or do you waste food maybe what is it i think so maybe okay you think so so thanksgiving it is called thanksgiving because we are thankful or we are grateful for the food we have okay and the first thanksgiving was in the year 1621 okay now you can continue people called pilgrims who were religious travelers from europe had sailed to america in 1620 Okay, so people called uh, so some people from Europe, they are the pilgrims. Okay, so they do not belong to America; they are from Europe. So these people from Europe, they are religious people. Okay, religious people means they were very religious. Okay, they used to pray to God. So these people from Europe, they had traveled to America in 1620, and then they, let's see what happened. What happened to these people when they came to America? Continue. They started a new life. There's a place called New England. So they started a new life in USA, in a place they called New England. So that is not England. England. So they came down. Some people from Europe. They came down to settle in America, and the place where they settle, they named that place as New England. Okay. Continue. Their first good harvest was in 1621 when they celebrated and shared food with the Native Americans who had helped them. They okay. ate deer, fish. So what happened is their first good harvest. So this Europeans who came down from Europe and they started harvesting. They had a harvest festival in 1621. They had a good harvest. Means they there was a lot of production of crops. Lot of food was grown, okay, in the field. So with this, wanted to celebrate that day because there was lot of production of food or crops. So they wanted to celebrate that day, and they shared the food with the Native Americans, okay. So these yeah. people who came down from Europe were not Native Americans; they were Europeans. So they wanted to celebrate with the Native Americans, and they wanted to share their food with the Native Americans who had helped them. when they were shifting to america and what did they eat now continue they ate deer fish lobster goose so they ate deer fish lobster and goose so authentically the, during the first thanksgiving this was the kind of dishes people used to eat they used to eat deer fish lobster and goose okay yeah Continue. The woman that made it all official, Sarah Josepha Hill, was a writer who actually wrote "Mary Had a Little Rot Lamb." Hmm. So Sarah Joseph Hill, she was a writer who wrote the uh, who wrote the poem "Mary Had a Little Lamb." I'm sure you must have heard about the poem "Mary Had a Little Lamb." It's a nursery rhyme. She tried and tried on her own to make Thanksgiving an official annual national holiday. Hmm. Continue. 
It took her 17 years to do it, and in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving official. Okay, the Sarah Joseph Hill, Josepha Hill, she was a writer, okay? And she was trying to make Thanksgiving a national holiday, okay? Because Thanksgiving was celebrated for many, many years in America, but it was not a national holiday. So these yeah, days you get... years. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So it was like many years. So these days, of course, you get holidays in school, right? Now, during Thanksgiving, you get a holiday in school. Don't you get a holiday in school? You, of course, get uh, it. Yeah. You, of course, get it, a holiday in school. So it is a national holiday in USA. So, but those days, it was not a holiday. So, Miss Sarah Joseph, she wanted to make it a national holiday. And she tried many years. And it took her 17 years to do it. And then finally, in the year 1863, President Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving an official holiday. Okay? So, Wait, who, do you know all about Abraham Lincoln? Huh? Do you know all about Abraham Lincoln? Do we? Know about all about pre Abraham Lincoln? No, uh, uh, like as for this story, we only know this part that he was the one who has made Thanksgiving official. Do you know about Abraham Lincoln? Do you want to share something about him? Yeah. Yes, you can, of course. He was kind, he was the 16th president of the United States. Very good. And what else do you know about him? How was he as a person? What? How was he as a person? Was he a good leader or was he a bad leader? Good leader. Very good. Yes. So President Abraham Lincoln was a very good leader and most of the Americans used to admire him, used to respect him, used to look up to him, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now he was the one, Abraham Lincoln was the one who made Thanksgiving official holiday. Now, how do we celebrate? How do people celebrate now? How do people celebrate Thanksgiving now in the current day? Let's see what do they do. Okay, read it. Thanksgiving is a national holiday, just like we have in the UK for Christmas Day or New Year's Day when many shops are shut and people are not at work. Mm -hmm. So Thanksgiving is a national holiday in UK. Just like in UK, Christmas is a national holiday. New Year's Day is a national holiday. Of course, now Christmas and New Year's Day. Is a national holiday all of all over the world. I'm sure even you get holidays during Christmas and on New Year in school. And also for us, it's a national holiday. Even in India, it's a national holiday. So Thanksgiving is also a national holiday in USA, just like Christmas and New Year's. Okay. Just like Christmas in the UK, what do family and the, also during Thanksgiving in USA, all the shops are shut. Shops are all closed. And what happens? Just like Christmas in the UK, families travel to be together and have a big meal, much like our Christmas dinner with turkey, stuffing and potatoes. There are also other dishes such as the pumpkin pie. So during the Thanksgiving, just like Christmas, all the family members, friends and relatives, they all gather together for a dinner. Just now you said me, I like to eat chicken during Thanksgiving. Similarly, people use eat a lot of food, delicious food during Thanksgiving, like turkey. Turkey is definitely very, very famous for Thanksgiving. Then different kind of stuffing and potatoes, mashed potatoes. There are also different dishes called no, no, sir, pumpkin pie. Okay. So now continue the last paragraph. Even though it started as giving thanks for a good harvest. People mm -hmm. now give thanks for many things. Some mm -hmm. say it started as a thanksgiving for a steep journey to America. So even though Thanksgiving started, how did the, how was the first Thanksgiving celebrated? When it was, there was a good harvest in the field, when there was a lot of production of good crops. So people were, so the 
Europeans wanted to thank the Native Americans and they wanted to share the food with the Native Americans. That is how it started the festival. But nowadays, people now give thanks for many things. Some say it started as Thanksgiving for a safe journey to America. Others might give thanks for their family. So nowadays, Thanksgiving is celebrated for many things. Okay, you give thanks to your family. So next time when you celebrate Thanksgiving, this year, you're going to say thank you to your parents, to all your relatives, to all your friends. Whatever the personal reasons, many people see it as a start to the Christmas season. And there are many Americans who see it as more important than Christmas dinner. Okay. So, of course, Thanksgiving, we, deli we celebrate to give thanks to each other. But... On the other hand, we also it all it is also said that Thanksgiving, this festival is the start to the Christmas season, isn't it? We celebrate Christmas right after Thanksgiving. Uh, maybe. Yes, of course. November we celebrate Thanksgiving, and December we celebrate Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So Thanksgiving is just like a start to the christmas season we know whenever we, when we are celebrating thanksgiving that christmas is also at the round the corner and many americans they feel for them thanksgiving is more important than even christmas dinner okay now yeah. Arthur, why what i want you to do is i want you to write down this question then i'll go to the story back again and then you're going to write the answer first write down the first question when is thanksgiving in America um, right on, Thursday, on Thursday 4th very good but I wanted to write down in full sentence first right okay, just write down the answer when is Thanksgiving in America okay. um November 30 um write down the full thing Thanksgiving is a celebration in America on the fourth Thursday of November write down full sentence You wrote it? I'm almost done. I'm done. Just a minute. All right. What's that sound? Hmm? That's a uh, that's a person who has come to take the garbage. Oh. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. What can you read all the answer?
Can you read out the answer? Uh, Thanksgiving is a celebration in America on the fourth Thursday of November and in Canada on the second Monday of October every year. Very good. What is a pilgrim? Do you know who is a pilgrim? You can find out from the Google. You can find out. Pilgrims are people that were religious travelers from Europe that had sailed to America in 1620. Okay, but exactly what is the meaning of the word pilgrim? A pilgrim is a traveler who has come from a from, from a far away place. A pilgrim is a traveler who has come from a far away place. A pilgrim is a tra traveler who comes from place. Yes. A pilgrim is a traveler who has come from a far away place. Or you can say who has come from afar. A-F-A-R. A pilgrim is a traveler who has come from afar. Who has come? Shall I write down in the chat box? What? Do you want me to write you in write the chat box? Chat. I'm just writing over in the chat box. A pilgrim you can just is pronounce a that. person who has come from afar to settle in, who has come from afar. A pilgrim is a, not a person, a pilgrim is a traveler, sorry. He's not a person just, he's a traveler. Who has come from afar? From afar. A pilgrim is a traveler who has come from afar. Uh, can you write that? A pilgrim? I wrote it in the chat box. Oh. Um, let's go to the next question. Okay, sure. So, see so many new things you learned about Thanksgiving today. What happened to the pilgrims' first harvest in 1622? 1620. What happened to the pilgrim's first harvest in 1620? What do they do with that? So you have to write, the pilgrims had their first harvest in 1621 when they celebrated and shared food with the Native Americans who had helped them. Oh, that's the answer. Um, uh, can you write it in the chat? I want you to write down on your own. Just try to understand write down on your own. That is the meaning of understanding of comprehension of understanding and writing. So you have to write down in the in this paragraph. I'll just make I'll I'll just underline the portion from where I have taken the answer. Now you can write down. You can write the, the pilgrims first good harvest was in 1621 when they celebrated and shared food with the Native Americans who had helped them. They ate deer, fish, lobster and goose. Can you see? I am marked in red. Can you see that? Yeah. Instead of their first good harvest, right? The pilgrims' first good harvest was in 1621 
when they celebrated and shared food with the native americans who had helped them a what the pilgrims first good harvest was in 1621 when they celebrated and shared food with the native americans who had helped them You have a sibling, right? Who is it? Twins. Yeah, we do. So, uh, is he your brother or sister? Brother. What is his name? Arvi. Huh? Arvi. Avni. Arvi. Okay. A D V A I T. Okay. I'm done. Okay, just give me two minutes, and now we'll go to the question. Next question. And we will do. Just one more question. We'll do. I'll just. give you which question what did sara josepha hell do 
वॉट डिड साडा जोसेफा हेल्प डू सो सारा जोसेफा हेल वॉज द लेडी शी वॉज अ लेडी हू ट्राइड एंड ट्राइड ऑन हर ओन टू मेक थैंक्स गिविंग एन ऑफिशियल एनुअल नेशनल हॉलीडे दिस पार्ट ओके सो सारा जोसेफा हेल ट्राइड एंड ट्राइड ऑन हर ओन टू मेक थैंक्स गिविंग एन ऑफिशियल एनुअल एनुअल नेशनल हॉलीडे राइट डॉन Okay, Arthur. 